Hey guys, welcome back to Smashkin. I'm Anthony, and today, Chapter 9 of Knights of the Fallen Empire. This is the last chapter of what Bioware has released until a few more weeks go by. So, let's go ahead. Let's start the finale. really a place where no one wants to kill us? I handpicked it myself. We'll be safe. Are we sure it's wise to leave Scorpio in control of the bridge? Got the ship locked down. She can't go anywhere without my approval. I hope you're right. So why this world? Remote, unsettled, and strong in the Force. But unlike Korriban or Tython, Odessan is altogether balanced. How did you find it? I've always had a strong affinity with the Force. It's what set me on this path to begin with. Led me to forge a certain alliance all those years ago. With the Republic. I meant with you. Here we are. Everyone looks so peaceful and happy. This is your new alliance. Start. We all had a hand in getting here, but you've been the center. You made it possible. Show them what you're made of.
Hey, it's Theron. Like what you done with the place? Theron Shaw. Hadn't seen you in a while. Wasn't sure you'd remember me. I take it Lana has been putting your skills to good use. She hasn't got me tortured by the enemy even once. five years. Feels like everything's changed. Why don't you get me up to speed? I will, but before we dig into the big stuff, I've got something for you. You found my people? No luck so far, but... Needs work! A lot of work! My spaceship! When you have a moment, it's time for that official stuff. I'll be inside. Oh, I'm so happy now. My spaceship, it's finally back. It's mine again. So this looks like it will be our new little hub of our quest down here, it seems. A little social area. Looks like it would be nice. Squadron run like that will fail without detailed schematics. We need hangar positions, defensive capabilities. It would also help if we understood how to disrupt the power core. I cannot divine such information nor pray to the gods of science. All I can do is speculate. Unless, that is, we could extract such data in secret. Don't look at me. I've snuck into some crazy places, but stations like these are another deal altogether. All right, we'll table it for now. We have company. Need some help? With Arkans battle stations? We will, as soon as we understand them. We're building a healthy alliance, but it's not enough. The core worlds are still under the threat of Arkans' considerable reach. Now, I've assembled a team of specialists to help tackle the big questions and find potential recruits. Dr. Javad Ilib Ogorov. I'm no biologist, but I admit I'm fascinated by the effects of long-term carbonite poisoning on your mental faculties. Baywan Ego, former fleet admiral in the Republic Navy. Discharged, but still in this fight. Hilo Viz. Sure you've heard of me. Broke the toughest blockade in galactic history. Republic's greatest outlaw hero, basically. Your visage surfaced in my trials. I am the mystic's on array. I will assist you. Hello, all of you. And no, Doctor. You can't experiment on my brain. A pity. Perhaps another time. If I may be so bold, I would ask a favor of you. I have my trained eye on a promising recruit. A damned of all creatures. If you'd like to go over the details, you may find me in my splendid new laboratory. So, that's the team. Any questions? That's it. Don't disappoint me. Speaking for myself, I find the prospect highly unlikely. Thanks for dropping in.
seems like a little bit of bug. Interesting. Ah yes, how can I forget? Why you will seldom hear it. In truth, all hunts can speak basic. We simply choose not to do so. Given the diverse nature of those gathered here and the tenuous nature of some of the friendships, I find it prudent to minimize the risk of linguistic misunderstandings. Now then, on to more pressing concerns. It is no secret that against the Eternal Empire we stand at a massive technological disadvantage. In fact, that is almost an understatement. My role here is to coordinate the Alliance effort to understand the Eternal Empire technology and to develop our own to bring us to an even footing. This is kind of a nice little throwback to uh, Knights of the Old Republic with the black cinematic bars and the whole thing, but it just, uh, this feels a little outplaced. Your casual bigotry aside, I'm afraid my brethren are being profoundly short-sighted in this matter. There is no neutrality with respect to the Eternal Empire, only eventual subjugation. But I, for one, have had enough of delusional moguls in my lifetime. Let them sit in their sad denial ensconced within their opulent palaces. Let them hasten their own demise with an action. It falls to those of us with vision to accomplish what they will not. Yeah, four options now, so I guess this is cinematic without being too cinematic. Forgive me for losing my temper. This is a matter of some frustration for me. Let us return to the matter at hand. The task is daunting indeed, which is what makes it exciting. To succeed, we must gather scientists, researchers, and representatives from the galaxy's many sentient species for their fresh perspectives. I do, an exceptional dad, both a finesman and an engineer by trade is currently located in Sakul's Old World District. Feinsmen have a unique perception of reality. They can intuit what others struggle to grasp at all. A Feinsman who is also an accomplished engineer. I salivate to contemplate the contributions such an individual would make to our cause. I have forwarded to you our information concerning Yoon. For now, I must return to my art. This conversation has left me feeling inspired and I must create. Mystic you have met? I am honored. When my vision showed I must take many falls, seek an outsider, and enter a war, great caution was exercised. My vision was given to five different interpreters. All five interpretations aligned. Thus, I am here. Visions cannot be wrong. Interpreters can. We eliminated that chance. The way forward was made clear. I will not be in your way. As was seen, we have built an enclave for those gifted in the Force. Here they will meditate, train, and grow. I also meditate, awaiting visions of those who will yet join us. Your concerns are misplaced. There will be conflicts. Tempers will flare. The enclave will survive it, and grow stronger. 
I have also brought several Voss training in the Force. Some proficient, some beginners, all learning. Many more volunteered. I brought what the vision showed. The Enclave must grow, but it requires your support to do so. I meditate. My visions reveal those who might join. You will attempt to recruit them. My visions also showed many artifacts and force relics gathered here. The task of retrieving them also falls to you. With the relics, we will learn and grow. Our alliance will spread across the stars. I must return to meditation. As outsiders like to say, good luck. It's actually pretty nice going back to the old Bioware ways with these little sub-cinematic conversations. Going and investigating with certain conversations. It's kind of a nice little change. It's just so jarring to go from you saying stuff when you choose an option to not doing it. But, oh well. Sir. Welcome to your Alliance's military headquarters. Pleasure to have you here. Forgive me, Commander. We've been on the opposite side of a war for a lot of years. Old habits. But that's all the past. It has to be. We've got the Eternal Empire out there now. And it's going to take all of us working together to even have a chance of stopping them. My job here is to coordinate the Alliance's military and strategic intelligence assets. That said, we're too small to accomplish much right now. We're going to need to start by growing, which includes both recruitment and securing additional material. Let me know if and when you're looking to help. We've got plenty of work to go around. It isn't the new commander. We didn't get much of a chance to talk earlier. You lost, or just slumming it down here with the likes of us? Oh, have you never heard of Hilo Viz? Oh, right, the carbonite poisoning. The doctor warned us that might have messed with your head a bit. Didn't mean to rub it in. Anyway, I'm Hilo Viz, one of the best freelance transport captains the galaxy has ever seen. Might be the best, but I try not to brag. Remember how the Mandos blockaded the Hydean Way during the war? How Coruscant was on the brink of starvation and riots until some hero came along, broke the blockade, and saved the planet? Well, that hero was me. Not that I have anything against imps. I was never officially with the Republic or anything. I just did it for the money. A whole awful lot of money. No hard feelings? In that case, you're gonna love working with me. Anyhow, I'd give you the grand tour, but we're all pretty busy. The Alliance needs a lot to keep it going. Food, equipment, weapons, ships. And it needs to get everything without popping up on Arkan scanners. That kind of work takes a true professional. Someone who knows where to look, how to ask, and who to ask. So, naturally, your friends went and found the best. Yours truly to run the supply into this operation. I make sure you get what you need without raising any eyebrows. All at perfectly reasonable contract rates. Plus hazard premiums and a discretion fee. One of the great truths of the galaxy, Commander. Fact is, 
A lot of freighter captains are happy just to have steady work from someone who won't shoot them in the back when it's time to pay up. All the same, I have to admit I've stretched my network of contacts pretty thin. If this alliance is going to get much bigger, we're going to need a lot more help. Smugglers, bounty hunters, maybe even pirates. Anyone who has useful skills or just knows their way around the underworld. You find anyone good, bring them in. I've always got my ear to the ground, too. If I find any promising leads, I'll let you know. Oh, one last thing. While you're out and about, you ever find a Deveronian by the name of Galt Renault or Tiresias Loci? You let me know. Need to put a few holes into that backstabber. Long story. I'm liking all the callbacks to all the old other class class characters and stuff like that, like Galt, that person is part of the Bounty Hunter storyline, we have Scorpio from the Agent storyline, T7 from the Knight, this is, it's pretty nice. I was fed up with all the bullying and intimidation. I told him, no, go do it yourself, you insufferable organic. Oh, master, oh my, you're still alive. How unfortunate that I was not able to find you sooner. How long have you been standing there? exist only to serve you, Master. Therefore, I would say they are all vital. Have I mentioned how incredibly terrifying and lethal you look today? Oh, I've just remembered our ship needs a thorough dusting. I'll be going to take care of that then. Hooray! Party time. To old friends and new allies. I'll drink to the second part. Correction. I have never been to a place called Asylum and have never met you before. If you choose to continue the insinuation that I am anything other than... Ugh, okay. Okay. Just don't call me a meatbag. Query. What is a meatbag? Perfect. What's she saying? Translation. The small mammal would rather hunt game than consume celebratory beverages. Yes. <laughs> yes. But I am going to do both. Do you even recall the last time we relaxed? I can. It was 2.6 million years ago, and Senya was still a jerk. And to think I was going to sing for you all tonight. You were what? Ah, oh, come on. I have got to hear this. Too late now. Theron, you can't let the weight of the galaxy rest on your shoulders all the time. Isn't that why you talked me into coming here? To lighten your load? I brought you here because you're good. Hey, look who it is. Don't worry, it didn't really start without you. Yes, we've only just begun. I wasn't sure you'd attend. A chance to unwind after what we've been through is exactly what we need. You are exactly correct. Now get this guy to cheer up. I'm reasonably cheery. I'm joining in. And now you are too. I was hoping to have a talk with one of you first. Yeah? Well, leave me out of it. Cough. Look. You can do impossible things and change the galaxy. Great. Doesn't mean I have to like everything you've ever done. Take us in the right direction. I've got limits, and I'm not the only one. 
I'll reason with him. After he's had time to calm down. Hope he wasn't the one you wanted to talk to. I was actually hoping to talk to Lana. Of course. It's quite something, isn't it? So much more than the last alliance we formed. What I suspected when we aligned with Theron, Satil, and Darth Maul has borne out. I may have initiated events, but they would never have coalesced without you. I should be dead inside a metal tomb right now. You were determined to break me out. No, that's not... The truth was right in front of me, but I didn't want to believe it. I thought you were the only one to stop Arkham simply due to your capabilities, but now I see. This is destiny. Your destiny. It goes against everything I know to be true, but it's there. It's real. Not if I do this alone, it's not. You're an important part of what we're trying to accomplish. Of course, and I'll continue to be for as long as you'll have me. I think we should rejoin the party. We have earned it, after all. It appears the celebration has died down. Oh, everyone's trudging back to work. I haven't found Senya yet, though. You might take a look for her. Lana and I have some things to go over. Very well. I'll meet with you shortly. Thank you. Starship. It's impressive, you know. People from all over the galaxy want to stand behind you. This is how it was always going to be. Yes. That's what Heskel believed, too. Look at how the Scions followed him. He would have them die as he did because their deaths were foreseen. Their visions provide great insight, but they're not infallible. Reminds me of the Heralds of Zildrog. There's another leader who paid for his certainty. Say what you will about Valkorion, but he at least considered the viewpoints of others. He listened to me. Most of the time. He didn't. He would never have done what... What... Arkin... What is it? I told you before that Arkin had a brother, Thaxon. They were inseparable until his death. Valen told me during our fight, Arkin murdered Thaxon. His own brother? Maybe if I had raised him... Your fight with Valen. What happened? What she had to say, it struck me down to my core. Paralyzed me. She slipped away. Now, more than ever, I realize my children must be stopped, and that I have to make peace with the choices I've made. Whatever you've done to get here, I hope you can do the same. Question. How do you look back on your path to this moment? I made the decisions I felt were right. And that's about all any of us can ever do. A life without regret is a life well lived. 
Though I suppose it remains to be seen whether you will ultimately succeed. Personally, I see you defeating Arkham. Others on this world disagree. What does that mean? Who disagrees? You will learn soon enough. out there somewhere, our own father, plotting against us. He's not the only one. After I told Mother that you killed Vaxen, she probably wants your head. But it's not a problem. You have the throne, the fleet, this whole empire. You are as safe from her as can be. I wish Vaxen could be here now. Let's see, I was right to challenge Father. Imagine it. The three of us ruling this empire as it was meant to be ruled. I'd like it if Thexen were here too. But that's no longer possible. Doesn't matter. Father has a new favorite. He wants the Outlander to take all of this from you. I'll die before I let that happen to us. Of course you will. It's your first official speech as Alliance Commander. I'll have to thank everyone for their vote of confidence. There was no vote, no meetings, no debates. It's simply the way it is. The way it's been since the day you arrived. Everyone knows it, it's just official now. I thought you hated titles. I hate having one, but I do love granting them. They're looking to you to guide them to greatness as only you can. Take them there. You began with nothing. Now, you stand inside the base you have built. The Alliance grows stronger every day. You have done well, but make no mistake. Your work has just begun. It's time to redouble your efforts, to sacrifice and do as your superiors tell you without question. When you grow tired, when you wish it would all end, I want you to think about the madman out there. Arkham remains a threat to everything you have ever held dear. Arkham is your enemy. Destroy him, or be destroyed. come so far. Indeed, they have. They still have far to go, but at this rate they could one day pose a challenge to the Eternal Empire. Perhaps. A pity so many of them will have to die. Alright guys, that will do it for Knights of the Fallen Empire. Coming soon, Chapter 10, Anarchy in Paradise. This will be released 
sometime in the near future, next month or two, uh, there is a um, movie coming out that's related to Star Wars in some way that I think they're just trying to hold off to, to the end. So, make sure you guys stick by for the continuing adventures in Knights of the Fallen Empire.